Okay guys, so I have it all unboxed. Like I said, I was gonna show you guys how to set uh, the Singer Futura Quintet up. Now there are some little blue stickies. You're gonna take them off. I haven't done anything to this machine, so it's like from out of the box, okay? Um, so the other thing you're gonna need, obviously, is your electrical cord. And it came inside the box in one of the spaces there. So I'm gonna take this out. The plug is on the other side of the machine. Everything is on this side here. Let me turn it a little bit more. I kind of want to see where we're at. Okay, right down here. And of course you're going to plug in the machine. Actually, um, it says to go ahead and you can load all your um, your disk and everything into your computer first. But I just want to kind of want to show you guys all the different parts here as far as you have this cord. It comes with this cord. This is your USB um, hookup. You know, it has a USB on the one side for your computer and then it has the funky kind of chunkier side that goes into your machine. I'm just gonna plug it in right now just so you see where it goes. Obviously there's a shape for it there. And then um, you have your presser foot, which you don't need for the embroidery part, but obviously for sewing you do need. Um, so you can just obviously open that up. I'm actually taking these out of the plastic, sorry guys. And of course your presser foot has the little plug that goes into the machine right down here. I'm just going to pull it out real quick to show you. And that goes in there. So those are all the cords that go into the machine um, that you would use to operate it, of course. Um, it does have this knee bar thing, and I think we're going to look at that later because I have a feeling this obviously has to do with like sewing, quilting, whatever, but I've never used something like this, so I need to check on what that means. I'm going to keep it to the side for now. I did kind of look through the warran warranty information things like that. It's not really warranty information. Well, it is, but that's not why I care. So you have your warranties, supposedly stores that will take your appliance to fix them, which is kind of silly because stores go out of business or move all the time, but there it is. Um, if you have any questions, uh, a warranty card registration, automatic software updates. So basically it's saying, put the disc in, um, you know, once your drivers are all installed and everything, you open the future software, it says to follow the instructions and instruction manual to correctly attach the embroidery unit and USB cable. Because I'm saying you don't need the USB cable unless you're going to embroider. So for today, I'm just going to show you loading the um, information and getting it ready to, to sew. Um, and then you want to click on software live update. So we will do the updates and everything just in case it needs them. Um, I see 100, but it's always glitching out and being funny. So hopefully this one doesn't have those same issues. It has instructions for the value added accessories, which are more like presser feet and other things. The quick start guide, which is going to show you how to load your bobbin, how to wind the bobbin and load it and, st and um, put the um, thread into the machine, which we'll do today. And I think that's probably as far as we're gonna, as far as we're going to get. And then the next video, I'll actually do some embroidery, probably like on a burp cloth, so it's easy, and it'll show you kind of what materials you need to do the embroidery with and all that sewing and everything. So let's um, grab the disc. This is it. I'm going to open it up and we'll go to my computer. Okay, guys, so I have my computer up. This is a Mac and it's my husband's and I hate Mac. So what I'm going to do is switch over to the side that lets me do Windows, he has the Windows um, operating system on here also. So I'm going to open that up and I'm just showing you that just in case you guys want to know how I got there or how did that look like that if you're on a Mac or whatever else. Um, and hopefully it'll start. Okay, that's fine. It's telling me that a USB that was on there, fine. My husband hardly uses this other side. It's more for me. And you can see my reflection over here. <laughs> Anyhow, so let me get this fired up and what I'm going to do is just get the disc. And this disc obviously has the Singer Futura software on it, but it also has um, auto punch and um, auto cross stitch or photo punch, photo stitch, auto cross stitch, um, whatever uh, the font hyper. I thought I had the font one too. Anyway, I'm gonna install what's in here. Yours might not have that. I'm not even sure now that I read it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have those things. I thought it did. But I'm gonna take this out. And once this thing gets fired up, I'll get the CD okay, in there. I assume that this thing is ready to go. So I'm gonna take the CD or um, the disc and just pop it right in. And let's see what happens. It says, follow the installation instructions in the instruction manual to load the basic installation software CD for the Singer Futura. Uh, once the software and drivers are installed, open the Futura software. With the old one, you had to have the machine plugged in and turned on for it to work, so I'm kind of I'm gonna see what happens here. So it's a long to Futura setup, of course, installation. Um, choose one of the options below. Installation, please make sure you close all programs before you proceed. Our open CD folder that includes the Futura manuals in printable electronic format. I'm okay, I'll just click on installation. 
Yeah, I'm kind of confused about this one because it says, you know, it has this. Okay, it doesn't have that. It has hyper font. See if you read on the outside. Oh, sorry. That makes it really dark. Um, that it has all those things, but it doesn't. Uh, we'll see. So it's running it right now. My computer may be at risk. That's something old down there. And I mean, this is in real time, so if you want to see how long it takes, that's what we're looking at. So, welcome to Install Wizard for Futura. Yeah, sure, next. Um, I'm totally going to read that. And I said yes. <laughs> and then set up Futura, sure, next. Um, existing folders, I don't care. I, I've never choose any of those things, so if you're good at you know computers and you have a different idea, please do what you know. Start copying the files, yes. And so this might take minutes. I don't want you guys to sit here, so I'll let you know. So right now it's about 8.17 and I'll let you know when it, um, well, it's moving kind of fast. But I'll let you know when I come okay, back. Okay guys, so it's 8.20, so it took about three, two, two or three minutes. Uh, setup will now install future machine drivers. Please make sure that the machine is switched off. Um, the machine is not plugged in right now. It says, and if you look into the manual, it starts on page 78 of the manual, how to load the software. And it's telling me exactly what I just showed you guys. You know, you just walk through it, all the different screens. Um, it tells you um, to keep clicking next. And then when you're ready, after this is all done, um, is when you plug in the machine. Now, it says to make sure it's off, and obviously it's not even plugged in, so I'm gonna say okay. And it says, please wait while setup is installing Futura machine drivers. And it's about 8.20ish, and we'll see how long that takes. Okay, guys, so it's 8.20, so it took about three, two, two or three minutes. Uh, setup will now install Futura machine drivers. Please make sure that the machine is switched off. Um, the machine is not plugged in right now. It says, and if you look into the manual, it starts on page 78 of the manual, how to load the software. And it's telling me exactly what I just showed you guys. You know, you just walk through it, all the different screens. Um, it tells you... Um, to keep clicking next, and then when you're ready, after this is all done, um, is when you plug in the machine. Now, it says to make sure it's off, and obviously it's not even plugged in, so I'm going to say okay. And it says, please wait while setup is installing Futura machine drivers, and it's about 8.20ish, and we'll see how long that takes. Okay, so that only took about a minute or so, but it is asking me, it says, you know, before working with the software, would you like to view a tutorial on how to correctly set up the Futura machine for embroidery? Now, I already had a Futura, and... I know how that works, so if you want to do that, click yes, of course, and if you don't, you can just click no. I'm going to click no, because I'm not going to spend the time to do that, but um, there it is. Install uh, wizard complete, and uh, click finish to exit the wizard, sure. Like I said, this is um, Microsoft, obviously. Now, it brings me back to my home screen, which is kind of cool, because um, now we have it here loaded, it's on my home screen. You have to put the embroidery unit and plug the machine in before you open the uh, software. If you open the software right now, and like the old one, it even says it right here on page 80 in the manual, it's going to say, I don't know why you want to do this, you don't have the machine plugged in. So let me grab the items I need to set the machine up, and we'll get okay, started. So I hope you can see this. So this is the um, arm that the sewing machine comes with, right? Just your basic, if you're going to sew, whatever you want to sew. I'm just going to show you this because to update, and to see if there's any updates for the software, we need to actually turn on the embroidery unit like we're using it. So. Um, you know, that's pretty much what I'm showing you today, how to, you know, get your machine ready, basically. So we're going to take this guy off. It just slides right out. This is, like I said, just a regular sewing arm. You can take that off also if you had something small that you need to sew. Obviously, you can do that. Sorry, that made a loud noise. Uh, I want to see what this little guy is. What is going on here? This obviously came from somewhere. I'll have to find that out. Hopefully, it's not... You know, it came from right there. Interesting. All right, guys. So I'm not sure what this is or how this fits in here, but it was down on the floor of the machine, so that's not a good thing. I will have to get that back in there somehow. Um, I'd rather do it now before I start, because I don't know exactly what's going on there. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it off. I don't know why it was off, and then maybe I can answer that question later. I can't really feel down here to see where it should be, and maybe I can read in the book about it. That's weird. Okay, well there it is. Obviously it's some way to get to something that's inside the machine. So we're gonna take our embroidery unit, it's this big, huge thing, and you're just going to slide it in there. And in the old machine, you had to slide something on here that said E before you put this in, but assuming that you don't, because I didn't see anything about that, and, you know, here we are. I don't know. Yeah, that's just another way. Okay. All right. In the very back, this does not tell you this in the quick setup guide. Um, in the back of this, I know you can't see it very well here. Actually, let me go ahead and bring it 
this around to show you. And I'll try to do it very slowly to not make you all sick. Back here, you see this? There's a little port and it's covered. You need to switch it open because there's a plug there and that's where your embroidery unit's gonna plug in so that the machine knows, hey, the embroidery unit's plugged in, okay? So I just slid that open. I'm gonna put this back over here, sorry guys. I hope you guys, um, you know, are interested in this because what happens is a lot of times you'll find tutorials online from Singer and they're confusing because they know what they're doing <laughs> and whoever, you know, purchased it or when they show you something, they already know what's going on. So I kind of want to show you guys some scratch. So now I'm going to push this guy in. Huge, all plugged in. Um, it says basically if you know what size carriage you want to put on, it says to make sure that the foot is all the way up before you plug in the USB and turn on the, um, the program. So I'm just moving the handle right back here and I brought the foot, not the foot, but the um, the needle all the way up, okay? So I have that up, um, and this is on here. I'm not gonna embroider today, so I'm not gonna go into the whole changing out the feet and everything else. I just plugged it in because I want to show you guys if there's any updates, how to do that. And then we're gonna go into the embroidering, like I said, later. So let me put this over here to the side. And right back here, there's my dishwasher and some gloves, okay? <laughs> so we have that USB port if you recall, that we had plugged in earlier. So what you're gonna do is take this guy, go ahead and put it into wherever port, mine are on the side, obviously it's a laptop. Nothing's on yet, okay? So it's plugged in. Okay, and now it says to go ahead and turn on your okay, sewing machine. So the USB is plugged into the um, computer as I showed you there. And so now it says to go ahead and turn on your machine. And the switch is right by all these plugs that we had plugged in earlier, so let's turn it on. Ooh, fancy. And as you see, it's doing some crazy stuff. It moved around the, the um, arm of the embroidery machine, which is awesome. You always want to know that that's working, so that's great. And the start-stop option's on, lit up, everything's lit up so nicely. Big question mark, has no idea what's going on. <laughs> that's fine. So um, it says, well, okay, after you turn it on, you want to make sure that you're needles in the highest position and you want to attach the hoop which like I said we'll do later but this one just slides in really awesome you slide in the hoop that you want um, double click on the Futura icon so let me get back to the I'm computer double click on the Futura icon um, even if you just this is what I used to notice from back before I don't know why this hold on um, even if you're just going to design and save a design for later or something like that you have to have the machine plugged in and that was kind of a pain to me, it should just work and you should be able to design on it without the machine being plugged in, but you know, whatever. But I guess some people don't plan ahead of time, they just want to work on it and everything's fine. It says there's a connection error, check that USB cable is connected to, and power switch is turned on. So this is plugged in. Yes, it's all in. <laughs> power switch is on. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read about this and see what could be the problem. Well, actually, let me just click OK and see if <laughs> I don't think it's going to just automatically do it, but we'll see. But yeah, so as I said, you have to have the thing plugged in and everything good or else it doesn't know what's going on, which is kind of kind of a pain. Let's see if it goes this time. Nope, still no. Okay, let me read about this and okay, I'll come so right this back. just came up while I was reading about what could be the problem. Since this is a Mac and I wanted to go over to the Windows side, it you know, I plugged in my USB, it had no idea that it's plugged in. So now it says connect to Windows and that's what I want. There it is. <laughs> just kind of silly. And I'm just going to click OK. Found new hardware. Um, I'm just going to cancel that one because it should just start working whenever I open up the other thing where we added the um, information. Okay, so let's see. This is kind of those little idiosyncrasies with my other one. I, I did find the disk for C100 to add it to my new computer and it was not having it. So this is, might be one of those issues. So let me try to do this again. I'll kind of read about it on my own and then we'll come back. Let me show you. I'm in the process of adding it again since I plugged it in instead of found new hardware. The disk is still in there from before so I'm just saying yes, update the drivers with that machine on the Windows side. So it's going to take a minute. Um, and then I'll come back. Okay, and that's computers for you. Down here says found new hardware. That your new hardware is installed and ready to use. Oh Lord. So now double click on the Futura Quintet um, app there. I always call them apps, but it's not an app. And here it goes. Yay. This looks exactly like the CE100 information. Um, it's not the easiest to work with and I'm not the best at computers as you can see. So um, I think it takes some talent. For me, 
I just use very basic designs and I would buy designs from a company called Jujubees. Um, if I have their link, I'll put it in the description box because they have very inexpensive designs, super cute. You can download it in any kind of format. Um, and just the most darling little things are like really intricate designs and they always work for me. Like on my computer, I never had an issue with any of their designs. So, um, they weren't like, you know, maybe a little bit off or all these other kind of things. It was always perfect. So the tip of the day always pops up whenever you turn on your information here and it'll tell you something. So this one says, did you know? You can have several windows designs open at the same time. You can also switch between the windows in the window drop down menu, just like a computer would do. <laughs> okay, so anyway, some of them are kind of silly like that. I'm not gonna go to the next tip, but you can read more tips. Um, it has a lot of information, so you just close it. I'm not gonna go into the actual using this because I wanna do that later when we get to the embroidery part of it, but um, this always comes up afterwards. Welcome to Futura. This looks exactly like the other one did. So. Um, if you want to open the design, this is your first time trying the machine, try a sample design now. So maybe we'll do that next time um, so you can see really quickly how, to, how it works. Open design from the design library and then set to work with inches or millimeters. There's lots of different things. Um, and I have it clicked on display the message next time. It's always on. You can unclick that because basically every time you open it, it's going to ask you those things. And then you can start working. But that's not what we're going to do. What we want to do is um, see if there are any updates to be run, which is what they're telling you to do. And if for some reason it's not working on your computer, make sure you go to Futura or to Singer's website and they have patches that might help. If you have an older computer, there's lots of different things. It's kind of a pain, but it's well worth it. So anyway, so when inside the Futura software, click on help menu at the top toolbar. Uh, that's number four. And this is click on software live update. If an update is available, you will be prompted to proceed. Okay, so let's click on the help menu, which is right up here and this whole time the computer is running the machine is on but there's help it's the very last uh, option and then it says to go ahead and click on software live update which is you know several options down there's also machine live update I never noticed that so some machines do need to be updated um, there are no new updates this is it so this is the current version so I'm just gonna close it we're good to go. So that's it. Um, we're going to pick up here basically next time we'll open up this software, do some uh, embroidering. Um, I was going to show you guys how to thread the bobbin and all those kind of things, but really that's, I might as well do that next time <laughs> because there's no point to show it now and then show it um, again next time or have people miss it and have to refer them to this video. So that's basically how to set up the machine. It is ready to go um, uh, with a computer. If you were not going to do the embroidery option, um, all you would have to do is just leave your regular arm in the machine. Let me bring it over here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Leave the regular guy in there um, and just turn it on and start sewing. You know, you have your different options for your thread length, width, all those kind of things, but we'll talk about that later too. So uh, hopefully you found this useful for those who have purchased this machine and want to know a little more about how to set it up if you have any questions, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye now.